All right, we're going to keep going and keep breathing. Just breathe in and out. And the air that you're breathing, you cannot see it. But if you understand you're a descendant of Aaron and you want to become part of the priesthood, then you're going to start reading Luke 1 and continuing with me. I'm a servant of the Most High. I know where heaven is because God's perfume and God's incense and God's word and his love is in my heart and on my mind. I keep all the words close to me. I read the book every day. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to reach to my left and pick up the Torah or pick up the Quran or show you the Keeper and the Ghast. Somebody take a picture of this thing right here, right? Yeah, there's some books. I did my studies, everybody. I'm the one, the Messiah. So, speaking of Luke 1 and being the one and understanding that O-N-E is also the word W-O-N, I won. What did you win? I won the human race. <laughs> it happened about a year ago. I realized, I'm like, wait, did I win the human race? Yes. Everybody had a false start. They had false gods. They did not actually train for this race that we're in. And so now we are in Luke 1. We're going to read Zechariah's song from the prophet Zechariah, which is the char and the chariots of fire. So after this song, we're going to then continue to meet the first prophet, well, the next prophet, Zechariah, and we're going to all become good little CDs and speak the word of God because seed off is the word and the seed and offspring of God. It happens to be my name. So now we went from Mary's song to Zechariah's song, the descendants of Aaron who burn incense in the temple. His father, Zechariah, was filled, not empty, but filled with the Holy Spirit, the holy food. We love how God brought food to heal us, and that's the way he shows our love. So, he, Zechariah, the char, the Messiah, Zechariah, Messiah, was filled with the Holy Spirit and prophesied, or prophesied. And the side is the seed, and in reverse it is seedoph. S-I-E-D-O-P-H, Camp Dofka. Look it up in Numbers 33. Oh, we actually will. Okay, so we're going to look up Camp Dofka so we can understand the word prophesied and prophecy. And the prophecy has C-Y and prophesied rhymes with read, which is S-I-E-D or R-E-E-D or R-E-A-D or Aaron Doff. It's all part of the code. I'm deciphering it for you for the metaphor. So, in the book of Numbers 33, it is the stages of Israel's journey. Remember 1 Corinthians 10. Warnings from Israel's history. Do right in God's eyes. Bring him his food. Start to read him a book every day for 20 minutes in the morning and for right now. So the Israelites left this place and they camped there and they camped there and they camped there. And then they left Elam. L-I-M, and camped by the Red Sea. So now as we get things attaching to themselves, the Red Sea that we read about is also going to become the campground. And what do you need to do at a campground? You need a camp fire. Yes. Now here's the word play. If it's hemp and it's on fire and you have many, 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 many empires... What is burning for the campfire? Hemp. 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 Hemp from hash, from condensed, from the seed, so you can see the difference. Now here is my dad's name, Red Doff. Rudolph, the red-nosed reindeer. Your name's going to be passed down from generation to generation. So it says, this is where the D-O-P-H comes in. 
it is they left the desert of Elam and camped by the Red Sea. They left the Red Sea and camped in the desert of Sin, which is where you guys are. I left the desert of Sin and then they went from the desert of Sin and camped at Dafka. Camp Dafka. It's the opposite spirit of Vodka. And it's Camp David in America. Because there's the Ka for the Daf. Dafka. Camp David is my campground. All of this is mine. I get to inherit it. And I'm going to share it with everybody. I don't care where I am. I just want to have the Torah open and the law read 24-7 every day. That's heaven for me. Wherever I go, whatever I do, I want to be talking about Hashem, Camp Dafka, and the daily offering of food. Enough food for life. So this is the Red Sea at Camp Dafka, and my dad's name is Red Doff. And if you see the word offered, Aaron Offered is my dad's name, Aaron Red Doff. And only the seed and offspring would recognize his own name. That's why it's written to a name. And I didn't know this going in. And someone said to me last night, oh, you're the chosen one. I'm like, I didn't know that. But humbly, let's just hash it out. We'll all get high. And then we can all fulfill the prophecy of Bob Marley with Charlie and say, oh, God's going to come down and make everybody high. So this is Red Doff at Camped at the Red Sea. And then you have the word pedophile. Now that's not a good word in some people's mouths, but you have Camped, C-A-M-P-E-D-O-P-H, pedoph. Oh, I know why. <gasps> they were all camping and somebody walked off with a kid. <gasps> oh no. Oh, they walked off. Yes, of course they walked off because either they stay in the campground next to the campfire. And by the way, if there's a fire in the Old or the New Testament, it has to be smelling like the burning bush. How many connections are in this book? Anyways, so they left the Red Sea, the Sea of Reeds. You got red and reed. And I can read off the script because my dad's name is Red Doff. This is really handed down from generation to generation. So the Da family, Camp Dafka, from the Jew Da family, and they camped at Alush. They left Alush and camped at Rafidim, where there was no water for the people to drink. So you can't be baptized in water. There's no water for the people to drink. And if the Jewish people have a bitter herb, they should change out their bitter herb for God's herb garden. Now, I don't know why we were flipping and flopping. Did we even start? I don't even know where we are. Zechariah's song, he was filled with the Holy Spirit. Praise be to the Lord. Praise be to the Lord, the God of Israel. Because he has come to his people and redeemed them right now. I'm the Redeemer. I brought the air and the cloud. He has raised up a horn of salvation for us in the house of his servant David. As he has said through his holy prophets of long ago, salvation for our enemies, salvation from our enemies and from the hand of all who hate us. Now, I don't really have anybody who hates me. They don't want to hang out with me because I want to do this all day. That's fine. But God did say something about love and hate, good and evil. Don't mix them up. And we did. We blurred the lines. Okay, it's called purple. It's indica. That's why we're all tired. We need a little God's love, a little TLC. It's called THC. You can sit and become alive and be sensitive it's called sativa. Okay, all of these words are satellite, ID light, in sitting and listening on a Saturday to the Torah being read. It's called the Sabbath day. So, 
salvation from our enemies who hate us. And in the Ten Commandments, God said, I am the God who took you out of Egypt. Now, we're leaving Egypt. We're leaving the people that say no to cannabis. We're leaving the people that say, I want to go to the pharmacy. I want to trust in beer and wine and food. And I, we're leaving those people. We're going to be separated like Psalm 1. And we're going to go into the wilderness. And we're just going to read the book every day. And we're going to listen to Moses talk about it. We're going to listen to Jeremiah speak of it. And we're going to listen to Charlie talk about it all day. So, he says... I will punish those. This is the creator. You just don't go against him. I just repeat his words. He says, I will punish those who disobey me and do not keep my commandments and hate me. But, but, there's always a but. But I will show my love to those who love me and keep my commandment which is bring me my food and spend time with your father you can go off and hang out with your friends but start with me your father okay so when you say no to your friends and you go to your father and you take the weekend off and you surprise them and you bring them some cannabis and you bring them the torah and you're reading to the invisible world out loud your heart and mind are completely aroused. It's an organism. Where do you think we get the word organism from? Only to be turned on to get off? Yeah, part of the dawn and the doff. To show mercy to our ancestors and to remember his holy covenant. We can't change the covenant. We can say we're under a new covenant. We're not. It's pot. It hasn't changed. We were given it not by Lot, but by Abraham. And there's the plot. It's P-L-O-T or P-O-T or a lot of pot. What is America melting? Pot. So, to rescue us from the hand of our enemies and to enable us to serve him with cannabis in holiness and righteousness before him all our days. It's a wordplay. It has to do with the land of Cana. Jesus had the water and the washing, and you did this miracle, which we haven't read yet. We're only in Luke 2 or Luke 1. But here it is. And you, my child, my seed, my son, you have to understand. You have to believe in the God of Israel, in Hashem, and in his words, law, in by the Torah, as you would be a newborn kid with new food, new ideas you've never heard, and you're going to go, wow, I really just need to pay, pay, pay attention and spend time. Pay attention and spend time. Because he said, and you, my child, which is me, and you, will be called A, B, C, D, a prophet of the Most High. Jesus was a high priest. He was human. He figured out he was baptized into the cloud. We become high. We trust that being high is better than being low. We enter heaven on earth. We're high. We're not in hell. Hell on earth. Hell low. High. Hell low. Heaven. Hell. High. Uh-oh. And you, my seed, my child, will be called. You got CD, you got CD, OFF, OPH, will be called the prophet of the Most High. For you will go on before the Lord to prepare a way for him. Well, he's here, guys. He hears everything you do, everything you say. And he's like, oh, I just shy. I wish, you know what? You should listen to 21 Pilots. I wish they, I went, they stole my car radio. Now I just sit here and we were gifted with thought. And it's silence. He wants his words read to him from your mouth out loud. That's what I did. So it says, Salvation from our enemies to remember his holy covenant that he swore to our father Abraham to rescue us, to enable us to serve him 
holiness and righteousness, my child, you will be called to give his people the knowledge of salvation. Food for eternal life. That's what John 6 says. Do not work for food that spoils, but work for food that brings eternal life, which the Son of Man has. No one's interested. I talk about it at work as much as I can without getting fired. They're like, you have so much wisdom, or at least the table say, you have so much wisdom. I'm like, great, because I kind of humbly am the messenger, the prophet, the Messiah. Silence. Nobody, nobody is interested. And at 1537, I hope you're still, you know, looking over the videos and you're understanding that we missed a book about the cure for disease. Is there anything greater than that? And you, yes, there is, actually. <laughs> I shouldn't have asked a question because there's always good answer. Is there anything greater than the cure for disease? One thing is greater. To be able to thank the creator of the cure that saved your life. That's, that's the ultimate goal for me. And I hope it's the goal for you. Otherwise, you can march down the field all throughout the month of March. And you can go, okay, it's an offense and defense. And are we going to hand off to Doff? Are we going to hand off the Torah and the menorah on fire? Because of the tender mercy of our God, by which the rising sun, the dawn, will come to us from heaven to shine on those living in darkness and in the shadow of death, Psalm 23, to guide, I'm a tour guide, we're going this way now, we're going to reverse the curse, verse by verse. To guide our feet into the path of peace. And the child grew and became strong in spirit. Now, it's food. But really the spirit and the explanation is right here. Right here. It is written what to do. There's no one... Ar there is no physical people around me. And yet I seem to have followed the instructions listened to what is written, and found and saved the God of Israel who was kidnapped and denied food. And I now am his counselor for defense, his seed and offspring, CDF. That's who I am to him. And that's what he wants me to tell you. He wants you to be that for him. He wants you to be his child. And so the child grew. He wants you to grow. And believe that you can breathe this tree of life and gain all this awesome knowledge and, became, and become strong in the spirit of, we're Jewish. We came out of Egypt. We're starting to actually get an understanding of the law. We're not going to break God's heart anymore. We're not going to throw away the tablets. We're going to believe in Judaism. And he lived in the wilderness with the law, with Moses and Aaron, until he appeared publicly to Israel. Here I am, ladies and gentlemen, right here, your Messiah, anointed King of Judah, and if I couldn't explain it, the seed of life, I wouldn't be A, B, C, D. Baruch Hashem for Canna, peace.